Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be showing you the dedicated drop spot for the Star Helix in Borderlands 3. This is someone you can farm who has an increased chance to drop it. If you have a weapon or item that you'd like me to cover next, let me know down below in the comment section. And let's dive in. The Star Helix has an increased chance to drop from the Power Troopers, who you can find at this point on the map in Atlas HQ. You shouldn't go straight there and kill them though, as that'll make you spawn right back at the start again. Before you kill them, you want to grab this save point inside Atlas HQ. It'll save you a lot of time, and it's the closest spawn point to them. The Power Troopers are traditional rare spawn enemies, but they should show up most of the time for you. Once you reach their spawn point, they will drop down from atop the building, and there'll be five of them, all of which can drop the helix. There's a red one, a blue one, a pink one, there's one for every Power Ranger, as that's obviously what they've been taken off, and I have to say, their entrance is enough to match. Because there is five, weapons good for handling groups like a Brainstormer, Redistributor, or Recursion will be your best bet when dealing with them. I received a couple of Star Helixes in about 6 attempts, and I also received all of their dedicated drops in that time as well, which was surprising considering they have a massive 8 item dedicated loot pool. But with so many of them in one place, you'll have a high chance to get what you're after, so you shouldn't have too much trouble obtaining your own Star Helix. When it comes to mayhem levels and how to farm them, if you want an anointed Star Helix, I suggest farming them on either Mayhem 3 or 4 as you'll have a 30-40% to 40 chance of it dropping anointed, with the same overall drop chance. But what about the Star Helix? Is it any good? If you crossbreed a coconut with an almond and milked it, would it be called Alnut Milk or Cocomond Milk? Well, the Star Helix is a powerful dull assault rifle that is at its peak now thanks to the latest hotfix, which increased the damage of all dull assault rifles by 25%. The Helix was good before that, but now it's even better. It can come in Radiation, Cryo, Shock, or Non-Elemental, and I find Radiation to take the cake out of the available elements. It shoots 3 projectiles for the cost of 1 ammo, and they are all fired in a horizontal pattern. You can see me testing that here, and you'll notice the distance between the bullets shrink the closer you are to your target. Aiming down sights makes no difference, and means that the Helix is best suited to close range combat although it would still perform well at medium ranges on large enough opponents. It comes in both fully automatic and 4 shot burst firing modes, with fully automatic being the better choice. It deals high damage at a good fire rate and is great with ammo consumption too. I have to say it's an absolute tank. It mounts through enemies with ease and can blitz through a large group of opponents with absolutely no trouble at all. The damage it deals is unwavering and will be high on whoever you target. Its unique projectile pattern is the only thing you really need to watch for, but they're tight enough to not be too much of an issue. It's great for proccing kill skills on a Seeing Dead Zane or Bounty Hunter Flak because of the extra pallet count, and the pallet count also helps it quickly apply elemental effects to your enemies, helping you deal even more damage. Overall, the Star Helix is a fantastic gun that I highly recommend you consider adding to your build. It deals very high damage with little ammo consumption, and clears out hordes of enemies with very little effort. The projectile pattern might take a little getting used to, but hitting all three is where its true damage lies, and the recent buff just adds more icing to the cake. So that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea for what weapon or item you would like to know how to get next. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.